thing to find. Remember, whenever we have this question, we are asking the, are you going to say the question? question. So I need to find how, how many, many students are taking lessons. Okay, students, write it down. <coughs> now, after knowing that, Eli, I hope you wrote that down. After knowing that, what information do we need to use? They're saying we need some important information that we need to use. There are blank groups of students. Cooper? Okay. There are equal groups of students taking drum lessons? No. Did it say how many students? Yes. yes. There's eight. Well, three. It says how many. Three. 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 Where's the first Three. 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 No. Okay, so how many groups? Three. Three. Three groups of students are taking drum lessons. And how many students are in each group? Xander. Eight. Okay, how are we going to use this information? They said, I will draw a bar model to help me see what operation I need to use to solve the problem. What operation I need to use to solve the problem? All right, now it says on solve the problem, complete the bar model to show the drummers. So then it, give us, it gives us a direction to do. Write eight in each box to show eight students in each of three groups. So you have eight in the first box. The second box we need to write. Two, two, two. No. Eight. 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 And in the third box we need to write. Okay, now let's look. I just want you to see for right now. This is like doing um, our groups. You would have three groups and then eight in each group. Okay, that is why there are three boxes because there are three groups. <coughs> and there are eight in each box because there are eight groups, things in each group. Now I just made nine. Okay, that's what that's for. Got it? Okay, since there are equal groups, now this is important. Remember what I told you, you cannot multiply if you do not have equal groups. Is, are all these groups equal? No. Are all these groups equal? Yes. Is eight equal to eight? Yes. Is eight equal to eight? Yes. Are all those groups equal? Yes. Yes. So we can multiply. Because they're all equal, we can multiply to find the number of students taking lessons. So what's my first multiplication factor? No. Ooh. The first factor has to be the amount of groups. You have to remember that. The first factor is the amount of groups. What is the amount of groups, guys? Three. And then how many are in each group? Eight. What is 3 times 8? So now you have to figure out 8 plus 8 plus 8. You see, multiplication and addition are, you have to use addition to help you with multiplication, guys. You have 3 8s. That's 3 times 8, but you have to add all 3 8s. So you have 8 plus 8 is 16. And then 16 plus 8 more is 24. 24. So there are how many students in all? 24. 24. Okay, go to the next page after you have written that down. All right, read this problem, please. Huh? 